Hello everyone and welcome to Cytron Technologies. In this video, we are going to install the operating system on a micro SD card in order to boot up the Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Before getting started, you need a UHS-1 micro SD card with a minimum capacity of 32 gigabytes. In addition, you also need a 5 volt 2 amp micro B USB power supply or a 5 volt 4 amp power supply with a barrel jack. For this video, I use a 5 volt 2.5 amp power supply from the Raspberry Pi to make the board work stably. Next, visit nvidia.com slash Jetson Nano Dash Start to download the image file to your computer. At the time of making this video, the file is about 6.1 gigabytes. Once the download is completed, you can use the Bellina Etcher program to write the image to the micro SD card. This process will take about 5 to 15 minutes, depending on the speed of the micro SD card. Just after everything is ready, you can insert the micro SD card into the slot on the bottom of the Jetson Nano module, connect the HDMI cable, the network cable as well as the USB mouse and keyboard. And finally, connect the power to the micro B USB port to boot. If using the DC barrel port, you need to connect the jumper pins at J48 together. On the first boot, it is required to configure a few things, such as accepting NVIDIA's terms, choosing a language and keyboard, setting the time zone, and providing a username and password to create an account. You might also change the size of the application partition as well as select the operating mode for the system to save power, 5W or operate at maximum performance. After entering the necessary information, the system will automatically configure and restart. Once logging is successful, you are good to use the Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Some libraries and programs are pre-installed. I will run the demo program for VPI to check if everything is ready. So far, we have completely installed the operating system for Jetson Nano on the micro SD card. In order to do this, the computer should have a stable internet connection to download the huge micro SD card image. And a high-speed micro SD card reader is also needed to avoid errors when writing the data for a long period of time. In case you want to save time, you can consider buying the MakerDisk micro SD card that was pre-installed with Jetpack from Cytron Technologies. Well, that's all we have for you today. In the next video, we will learn how to connect to the Jetson Nano with VNC. Thanks for watching and see you soon.